Hello everyone, welcome you all to my YouTube channel. I am Rahim, I am a software engineer JavaScript. So today video we are going to learn about what is single page application. So if you don't know about what is single page application or call shortly SPA, then this video for you, watch until end of this video, you are going to learn about what is this single page application and what is the difference between traditional web application and the single page application everything you are going to learn through this video then let's dive into the video okay now let's talk about spa or single page application so what is the difference between a uh, single page application and traditional web application so the difference between these two is basically the single page application is not refreshing the entire uh, web page or yes the page right but if you are compare these with the traditional web applications the traditional web application is always refreshing so if you are click some pages it always calling uh, sending request to the server and server is returning a new pages for us so it's always refreshing and reconstruct the page again and again but if you are come to this single page application single page application is not like that what happening is first when you are uh, search something or when you are uh, load the application very first time what happen is the initial request is going to the server and server it, server is returning all the things uh, via javascript or, and send it to the client side so it show the pages and after that each and every uh, every uh, pages you are navigate it always basically without refreshing and without sending to the server and load the data it's always dynamically render the content and show to the user so that's the reason why uh, the single page application is not refreshing right so it's not refreshing so if you you can navigate to any other pages and it will still not refresh in the entire page but if you come to this traditional web application traditional web application it's always refreshing right so that is the uh, the difference between the traditional web application and the single page application so sometimes you will get questions uh, raised right now so how then data will be a uh, load and fetching yes for a single page application uh, basically we call the apis and get the data from the server as a json we are show to the user this is how we uh, show the dynamic data in the single page application but if you are uh, come to this uh, traditional web application so what we doing is we just uh, calling all the times the uh, uh, pages from the server and server rendering the data and sending back to us. This is how basically uh, these uh, traditional web applications is working. So now you know what is the difference between single page application and uh, traditional web application. So but uh, the complexity wise if I talk about the complexity of developing these uh, so if you are developing a traditional web application there is a, a, a some kind of a complexity there but if you are developing a single page application there is more complexities are there uh, because you need to handle the routes and the states and etc 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 so many things you need to uh, take care when you are developing a single page application right so and uh, so what are the frameworks available for a uh, single page application so single page applications uh, there is a this is basically that single page application is a modern uh, uh, modern uh, way of uh, developing uh, web applications but uh, single page applications they are under single page application there are uh, several frameworks and libraries out there the most popular are like uh, angular is there it's a uh, angular is a kind of a framework which is developed and maintained by uh, google and the other hand uh, we have this uh, react so react is a uh, library is it is developed and maintained by facebook and likewise we have a Vue.js, Ember.js, Swalton, etc, etc. There are so many uh, libraries and frameworks out there for developing a single page application. Right, so the traditional web application, so like if, if you are using a PHP, so because I use the PHP, that's the reason I am mentioning here a PHP is a server uh, side rendering application. So basically this is a server side, so that's the reason why it's always calling uh, 
uh, the pages from the uh, request sending a request to the server and uh, from from the server is sending us the in, entire HTML page. So this is how uh, the traditional web application. So PHP is uh, one of the framework for developing a, a server side application, server side web application. So th those are basically under those are coming under uh, traditional web application category. If you're coming to the SEO point of view, like, you know what, if you are developing a web application, if you want to make it your application SEO, then only the Google will get indexed. Uh, then only if users uh, search something uh, related to keyword or domain or anything. So then only uh, uh, your pages is appearing on the Google search result. So to do that, if you are building your application with the uh, single page application, then it's really uh, uh, it's really uh, difficult because you know what? So if you are developing a single page application, then that is not uh, SEO friendly because it all are uh, rendering the pages all are rendering with the JavaScript. Not on a, that if you, uh, I will show you that as well. So if you are running our applications, right, they always have uh, the pages always are getting rendered uh, from the JavaScript. So these are happening dynamically, not uh, uh, there is a no content. If you are open the view uh, source and you can uh, check this uh, source file. So there is a no contents available if you are inspect and uh, show this uh, inspect and uh, look these view source of the page, right? So that is what the single page application is. So yes, there's a few ways to make it uh, server side as well. So you can make it uh, SEO friendly as well, but that is a different technique you need to use. Like uh, if you are using Angular frameworks and developing the stuff, then you need to use uh, universe Angular Universal uh, for that to make uh, SEO friendly. So then the, all the tags will be get enabled and you can see entire source, right? But uh, normally, uh, the single page application is not an uh, uh, SEO, SEO friendly. So you can't make it SEO, but if you want to do that, you need to put extra additional effort for that. But when I talk about the traditional web application, traditional web application is always SEO friendly. So it's SEO support. So all the contents available, uh, all the contents details are available in the entire view source file. If you look that one. So that's the difference between uh, the single page application and the traditional web application. So uh, one time I'm reminding you, the SPA is single page application is uh, not uh, SEO friendly. So to make it SEO, uh, you can use like a uh, Angular Universal if you are using uh, Angular frameworks to develop your application. So if you are using a different kind of, of uh, libraries called React or anything, you can use like a Next.js or so yes, that will help you to render uh, the server side application or making making uh, the application SEO friendly. So this is what the difference between and yes, there's a pros and cons are available in the uh, each and every other's uh, frameworks and libraries. Right, so this is what the difference between. So I think I covered everything. So, ah, yes, the performance wise. I definitely need to talk about the performance. Yes, absolutely. If you are building your application with the single page application, the application is really super fast. You know what? Because we are not requesting to the server and we are not uh, rendering the pages from the server. So that's the reason. Because each and every uh, clicking or each and every navigation, what happening is it always uh, calling the, uh, it always uh, rendering the page through this JavaScript bundle, right? So this is how basically the working and performance wise, when compared to traditional web application and single page application, single page application is always super fast. But the traditional web application is a little bit slow and i hope you guys are uh, enjoy this video and learn something about a single page application and the what's the difference between the traditional web application and the single page application and what are the single page applications frameworks and libraries uh, available for us to develop and if you want to make this uh, modern single page application into seo friendly how to do all the, how to uh, implement that thing, everything we talk through this video.
then i hope you guys enjoyed this video then i will catch you on new video